Brazil's central bank is willing to do whatever is necessary to control inflation, but is it enough to drive the currency up? Joining me on the line is Lisa Alexanderson. So Lisa, Brazil's inflation out today has reached 9.49%. We've seen Mexico's inflation rate fall to unprecedented levels. How is Brazil's economy doing in compared to the other Latin American countries? If we look at, the, for example, Mexico and Brazil, that are the um, Latin economies that we are following, uh, we can see that Mexico has made uh, more progress when it comes to reforms. They opened up their energy sector, which uh, could drive important um, investments, foreign investments. And they are also having b um, better macro fundamentals. And I think this is something that has pressured uh, Brazil. And then we, in, in the case of Mexico, it's also very correlated to the U.S. business cycle. And uh, we are expecting uh, U.S. to pick up. And we have, can see that about 80% of the Mexican exports are going to the U.S. But if we instead look at Brazil, China remains as one of the major export markets that is making likely to continue to make it vulnerable in case the growth worries around uh, China continues ahead. Brazil's currency last week broke through its all-time low against the dollar, and it now stands at 3.85. Investors have been described as being bearish towards the emerging market currency. Do you think this bearish attitude will continue? In the case of Brazil, I think it will continue. We keep a bearish look in the near term, in the coming three to six months. We believe from the external front that the pressure will remain on the currency, uh, at least until we have the Fed hike out of the picture. Uh, we still expect that the Fed hike could uh, lead to large outflows. And in the case of uh, the Brazilian real, it will be especially vulnerable since it has a very large current account deficit. Uh, and then uh, we also have um, commodity prices. They have stabilized something somewhat and rebounded a bit the last few days. But until we we'll see a full stabilization and a full stabilization in uh, China about the growth worries, then I think uh, pressure will, will remain. So we expect, um, in general, some more weakening in EMFX uh, in the near term. But... Um, they are also starting to look very undervalued um, if you look in a fair value per perspective. So we believe the weakening peak is very close. But until we have these external factors out of the picture, the Fed hike, China worries and commodity price stabilization, then weakening is likely to remain or risks are weakening. According to Alexandre Tambini, governor to the Central Bank of Brazil, Brazil's monetary policy strategy is to maintain the current 14.25% interest rate for a prolonged period of time. What can we expect from the Brazilian real in the long term? We see weakening, but the longer out, uh, our fair value models uh, indicates that the real should trend pretty much sideways around the recent seen levels we have seen. Uh, we don't expect it to um, strengthen to the low levels it had before, uh, but um, when the Fed hike is out of the picture and um, commodities stabilizes and starts to increase, it will also support the Brazilian real, uh, and we will probably see the weakening pressure uh, disappear and maybe some modest strengthening along the route. Well, Lisa, thank you for speaking with us today. That's all that we have time for, but for all the latest Ducoscopy updates and interviews, keep clicking back. Goodbye for now.